New business has its grand opening in Douglas Loop today. WDRB's Dakota Share gives us a look at the new 1020 brewery and explains some of the other businesses coming to the area. 1020's newest location here at what used to be a Heine Brothers just opened a couple hours ago and it's already packed. I stopped in earlier and spoke with the owner who actually lives in Douglas Loop and he is excited to open up shop here in the neighborhood. Especially this like this location, this building, it's such a you know iconic part of the Highlands and, and Bardstown area. It's a historic area and building and to be able to come in here and be a part of this now is just we're thrilled. Uh, we couldn't be uh, you know happy any happier than we are to be here in, in Douglas Loop. 1020's third location has the same brews it's known for and will soon have pizza from matzo pie along with coffee and snack options, expanding its offerings and hours. We can be a community space for this neighborhood uh, throughout the day. 1020 won't be the newest spot in Douglas Loop for long with a new coffee shop opening up across the street in the old Breadworks location. Dad's Coffee is a family owned venture with its own personal ties to the neighborhood. It was just like the closing of Breadworks and Heine Brothers right at right around the same time. Um, it, those were just two staples that had been there for so many years and so to lose those both at the same time um, it was a bit of a shock. Paul Wathen and his wife had already been thinking about getting into the coffee business, and when the Breadworks space opened up, they jumped at the chance. They are partnering with Quills, the Louisville Tea Company, and others with an aim of showcasing more local vendors in Douglas Loop. Part of it was we wanted to open up something in the space so, you know, some national chain wouldn't come in and, and kind of take the place of such a such a nice community, local local spot that's that's uh, you know important for so many people in Louisville. Wathen says they hope to open in November. We want to be a staple for the community. Just down the street, a new restaurant is also planned to take over the old Hammerheads location. All of the interest in the area is seen as a good sign, both professionally and personally. As someone who lives in this neighborhood, I I'm personally thrilled to see you know this part of the neighborhood um, just you know doing doing so well and then and, and all the development that's happening for now this 1020 will be open in the afternoons and evenings but starting in november when coffee is introduced it'll have early morning hours as well live in louisville dakota sherrick wdrb news all right